Minuteman International proudly presents the new Lumina 20-inch battery burnisher. Let us now see some of the outstanding features that Lumina 20 has to offer. Welcome to Minuteman International's main headquarters and manufacturing plant in Addison, Illinois. This plant is located 25 miles straight west of downtown Chicago. There are three major expressways within minutes of Addison. The Addison plant is where all the battery operated equipment is manufactured. Everything from laser cutting, welding, powder coating, plastic forming, metal machining, final assembly, and shipping are all done here at this plant. Minuteman's Lumina 20-inch battery burnisher turns at 2600 RPM and will cover approximately 21,000 square feet per hour. When the pad driver is lowered and turned on, the upfront pad rotation will help transport the Lumina 20 along its path with little or no effort. The Passive Air Management System, or PAMS, is standard with the Lumina 20. As the pad driver burnishes the floor at 2600 RPM, the PAM system will vacuum up any dirt particles that are stuck to the finish or any old flaking finish that causes those unwanted scratches in your floor. By burnishing, you're building up a heel mark and scratch resistancy. The Lumina 20 has four patents. The first is a centering cup that prevents cross-threading. The second is the multi-flex pad driver and anti-growth ring that prevents burning and pad growth. The third are the Venturi exciter holes in the pad driver that create the vacuum while spinning at 2600 RPMs and creating 110 CFM. And fourth is the PAMS or Passive Air Management System. The upfront 20 inch pad driver head is raised and lowered by a special spring loaded foot pedal linkage that acts like a cantilever. This makes it easy to raise and lower the pad driver assembly. Step on the pedal to the right and the pad driver goes into the lower position. By pushing downward on the pedal and to your left will lock the pad driver up again. The pad driver will not rotate or hit the floor until the pad driver power switch is turned on. As soon as the pad driver is shut off, the pad driver will raise up one inch off the ground to prevent any burning of the floor in a stationary position. Once the Lumina 20 is turned on and you start burnishing, the pad driver will vacuumize itself to the floor due to the material exciter holes in the pad driver. The vacuum seal extrusion skirt, held on by a metal adjustable band, will not allow any air to escape around the outside. There is a white Teflon ring molded into the rubber skirt for longer lasting wear. At the top of the PAMS cabinet is the paper collection bag and final foam exhaust filter. To install these filters, open up the top cover by releasing the black rubber clamp. Remove the old paper filter and replace it with a new one. Then remove the foam filter and wash it out with a mild detergent and water. And remove all the dirt particles. Then shake the filter out of any remaining moisture and return it inside the lid frame. It's a good idea to keep a few spare paper filters inside the vacuum cabinet. The battery cover is hinged and opens up by lifting up the burgundy cover from the rear of the burnisher. There is a safety cable that doesn't allow the cover to go beyond 100 degrees. After lifting the cover, this exposes the three 12 volt, 165 amp hour batteries that sit inside the plastic battery tray for the machine's protection. This plastic tray is equipped with a drain hose located in the rear of the machine to drain off any acid or water overflow from the batteries. These batteries will give approximately 4 hours of continuous runtime. They are 210 amp hour batteries available as an option. The 36 volt charging port is located at the rear of the burnisher in the lower right hand side. The battery charger is fully automatic and hands free type with 110 volt input. Just plug in the charger plug and walk away. When the batteries reach their peak, the charger will automatically shut off preventing any overcharging. Right below the charging port are two thermal overload protection circuit breakers. The top 70 amp circuit breaker is for the main brush drive motor and the 3 amp is for the rest of the electrical components.
The frame is made out of 3 16 and 11 gauge steel for strength. This frame is coated with a textured, scratch resistant static powder coated paint. The cabinet is made out of rotational molded plastic for long wear and durability. And the top cover is made out of vacuum form plastic for light weight. There are two non-marking 8 inch tires on each side of the burnisher. There are two non-marking gray pivoting casters on the back side of the burnisher. Both the front wheels and the rear casters have zerk fittings for longer wear and dusty conditions. At the top of the control panel is the pad adjustment pressure knob that turns in either direction for increasing or decreasing the right amount of pad pressure. The gauge on the lower left hand side tells you where you should be at all times. On the control panel top left side is the power switch for the pad driver head. Next to that is the red emergency kill switch knob. In the middle is the red light that tells you when to change the carbon brushes on the main drive motor. On the lower left hand side is the battery indicator gauge. And next to that is the pad pressure gauge. On the operator's left side below the operator's handle is a power meter for serviceability. To adjust the pad driver pressure, lower the head to the ground and turn on the main power switch. Move forward as soon as you turn on the pad driver and look at the pressure indicator gauge to see if the pressure should be adjusted more. If it needs to be more pad pressure, spin the adjustment knob arrow to increase until the needle gets into the upper green zone. If the pressure is in the red, after you turn on the machine you will have to decrease the pressure until the needle is in the green zone again. Before burnishing any floor, make sure the operator wet mops the floor with a neutral cleaner or uses an automatic scrubber with red pads and a neutral cleaner to remove any dirt or old finish. After cleaning the floor, you could mop on a finish restorer if recommended by the chemical manufacturer. Now turn on the Lumina 20 and show how easy the machine is to maneuver and turn it from left to right. With the pad driver spinning, the machine helps pull the burnisher forward. As you can see, the Lumina 20 is easy to operate and user friendly too. No matter what the operator size, the Lumina 20 is easy to control. To achieve the wet look, get behind the Lumina 20 and see it shine. See a demonstration. Call us at 1-800-323-9420 for a local dealer near you or contact us on the web at www.minimanintl.com.